Hey guys. Uh, so today I am, well this is going to be, I'm going to try to kind of vlog about this as I do it. Um, so I'm hoping that there's going to be vlogs up every day about it kind of a thing. Um, I think the title of this, I'm going to call it CTC Day 1, Cleaning the Clutter, or Clearing the Clutter. And basically what I'm doing is, hold on, I'll go get it. Hold on. Okay, got it. Um, I got, let's see if you can, uh, Clear Your Clutter with Feng Shui by Karen Kingston. And I found this book through Charm, actually, it was actually Charming Pixie Flora's, um, I was watching some of her old videos because I remember watching them and how much I loved them and all of her how-tos. And lately, I have been feeling very um, down, very, I don't want to say depressed, but kind of like, um, I have all these things I want to do when I get home, you know, I'm at work or I'm at school and I'm like, oh, I want to go home and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I get all excited and I get through the door and it's like I hit this wall and I'm tired, I'm lethargic, I'm um, grumpy, I'm moody, I just get, I hit this wall in which I don't want to do anything. <clears throat> and I know it's because... My house is cluttered. My house is not dirty. I'm not a dirty person. You know, we we clean, we vacuum, but I have a lot of clutter. And I didn't really realize it until uh, more recently. And, you know, I I was watching some videos on YouTube's, YouTube's, YouTube about it, and I kind of went around my house and just looked, and I'm like, I'm a pack rat. I keep everything, my closets, because, I mean, we have a small apartment. My closets are full, the top of the fridge, my desk. I mean, I just have things everywhere. And when you have clutter, it traps that low stagnant energy. And then the more you have, the more that energy you have in your home. And so it just leads to all of these these ucky feelings of being tired. Um, they can be money pits. You know, they can they can actually lead to having financial issues, which look at what's been happening lately with our PS3 and our TV and all kinds of shit we had to buy. I didn't buy a PS3. I didn't because I was like, screw that. But, um, and so today I am going to start clearing my clutter. And I'm really, really excited about it. Um, because I just, I know I have it and there's this big job that I just applied for and it's in the surgical ring of the hospital and basically what it's for is they made it specifically for students in the surgical tech program to pretty much get your feet in, you know, get, get into the hospital, get your foot in the door, um, to kind of work and help pull case carts and to help, um, turn over rooms and stuff for the next year and a half and then, um, once you graduate from the program and you get certified, they pretty much move you over into surge tech. So getting hired would be a huge step. And I feel like the, the, the clutter and the energy in my home is holding me back from a lot. It's holding me back from um, all kinds of financial opportunities I could have, new jobs, because I've applied to a bunch of different stuff and I haven't gotten them. And I think part of that is because the universe is saying, no, 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 you don't need this job because this big one's coming. And part of it is because of things in my house. So, um, I kind of want to show you guys what I mean by clutter. And this is big for me to show off parts of my house that are dirty. But I want to, I just, I want to show you some of the places now so that as I go through day by day, I can show you what I have done with it and kind of do space clearing and stuff like that. So, I'll show you some of the, where's my, there it is. I'll show you some of the places I'm talking about. And if you're wondering about my hair, I just washed it, so that's why I look like a giant, okay. All right, so this table. This table is a junk collector. It has papers all over it. It's got stuff in the corner. It's got just shit everywhere. Um, our strategy guide, strategy guide, this is all strat guides. And not that this doesn't need to be here, but shit's just starting to get shoved in there. I mean, I don't need all these. My desk. My desk that doesn't even have a computer on it anymore because it's over there. Um, just shit everywhere. Shit all over the place. Um, 
god, my witchy room. I don't even like coming in here anymore just because of the amount of stuff. And it's not that it's dirty. It's just that there is stuff everywhere. And it needs to be cleared out. It really does. It just needs to. <clears throat> um, my closets are a disaster. Oh, here's the kitchen. Um, I mean, look at all the shit. Look at all the shit that I could definitely clear that out. There's stuff in there that I, I don't need. There's stuff in there that, basically what she said is there's different kinds of clutter. Like, look at this. Look at my fridge. Shit all over. Um, she said there's stuff that you haven't used in like the last six months. There's stuff that you're just hanging on to because there has some kind of sentimental value, but you hate it. Um, there's stuff that, that's, that's just junk that you just keep. Are you, and then there's stuff that's not finished. And there's a lot of shit in my house I need to get rid of. Um, okay. My bedroom, which I won't show you everything, but, um, like, my dresser. There's just a bunch, I have a fucking Pokeball here, for God's sake. Like, seriously. There's just shit everywhere. I'm not, and I'm not, I won't even get into my closet because the amount, well, there was a picture on Facebook. I showed you guys of Piper being up in the top part of the closet. Mess. There's clothes in my closet that I haven't worn in years, and I hate them, but I keep them because I think I have to. Like, one of them is a shirt um, that I was given from my aunt, and it's a Harley Davidson shirt. I've worn it once. I hate the shirt, but I keep it because I feel like I have to, and I don't. So, today is my first day of clearing the clutter out of my home. Like I said, if you were to just look at my house, I don't, it's not dirty. You know, we vacuum, we go around and smudge, I clean the counters every day, but it's just in the little places, like in cabinets and drawers, in, in closets, it's, it's a mess. There's just stuff. I have too much stuff. So today, I'm starting. I've got, how much time do I have? It's 2 o'clock. I work at 6. So I basically have 3 hours, 3 straight hours, um, of which I can clean and clear and get the energy. I mean, and I won't be able to get to everything today. That's why I'm making this a three-part, or I don't know how many days it's going to take me. But I'm making it a couple-part series. Um, just because I know I'm not the only person that has clutter in my house. And while it's embarrassing for me to show it off, I feel like if I show you guys, then once I get everything clean and clear and I can show you what it looks like afterwards, I will feel so much better. So, um... I'm going to I'm probably going to post things every day or as I do things and just give you guys updates and show you what I've done. Um I'm going to try to do before and after pictures. I don't really know how those work and how to upload them into my videos, but I'll try. I'll definitely take before and after pictures and maybe I'll do like a a thing on Facebook or something. And I know that this seems like I'm going really far with this, but I really feel like the energy in my home is what is keeping me back from so much. It's what's keeping me back from growing my, my Standing Stone business. It's what's keeping me back on YouTube. It's what's keeping me back in my job and getting a new job and in my schooling and with Kevin and with having a social life and just coming home and enjoying my time. You know, I come home at night and I could have four hours alone. And I'm like, oh my god, I could read, I could take a bath, I could do um, witchy work and spell work, and I could play video games that I have a thousand of. And what do I do is I sit my ass on this couch, and I look through Facebook, and I get stuck on Facebook, and that's all I do. Because I'm so tired, and I don't want to do anything. And I just have this feeling of, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. And I don't want that anymore. I want to be lively and happy and excited. And I'm so excited to just be able to look around my house and be proud of what's here and know, hey, guess what? You see that cabinet that you can't see in? It's okay. You can open that because biznatch, boom, it's clean. It's clear of clutter. And with my Reiki class tomorrow, I have my first ever Reiki class. It's Reiki 1. And um, Kevin and I are taking it tomorrow. And I also know that with that having to do with universal energy, I feel like, since we're going to do a lot of Reiki out of our home, 
um, that is if the energies are flowing more in here because the the Reiki has to do with chi, you know, your universal energy, um, that that will work that much better if the if you know the energy is already flowing in the house and there's not stagnant crap everywhere. So what time do I have? Ten fourteen. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. So this is first day. Videos after this are not going to be this long because today I'm taking the day to explain to you what this is. But, um, yeah, so really excited. As I go through stuff and do it, I'm going to show you before and afters if I can, if I won't, whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you guys updated and I'm so excited. So I will see you guys later and bye-bye.